Hurry up and bite! Hurry up and bite! Hurry up and bite! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome back. Um, this is part four, I believe it is, and we're gonna give you a, a quick recap. It's gonna be a minute. Fifty, Joe Button, forty-nine, T.I., forty-eight, Lloyd Banks, forty-seven, Bun B, forty-six, Pusha T, forty-five, Kendrick Lamar, forty-four, Ludacris, forty-three, Joel Ortiz, forty-two, Corrupt. 41, Big Boy, 40, Left Eye, 39, Beanie Siegel, 38, Crooked Eye, 37, Fabulous, 36, Tech 9, 35, Lupe Fiasco, 34, Kanye West, 33, Common, 32, Guru, 31, Ghostface Killer, 30, Raekwon, 29, Tretch, 28, Oyster 59, 27, Proof, number 26, Black Thought, 25, Jadakiss, 24, Method Man, 23 Elzai, 22 Q Tip, 21 Melly Mel, 20 KRS One. That's number 19. What can I say about this guy? This nigga ruled the 90s and some of the 2000s. It's one of the best acts that Def Jam ever signed. He's one of the he's one of the dopest and he's funny. He's one of, and uh, again he's he brings the comedy to hip hop like this guy right here, Red Man, number 19. Yeah. A lot of people are going to ask me, why do you think Redman is so much better than Meth? I mean, Redman is more creative. He's more animated. He belongs in the, you know, the Buster Rhymes, Nicki Minaj, Left Out, I mean, Missy Elliott realm, Family Tree. Uh, you know, they're animated. They're amped up. Redman, without Redman, it wouldn't be a fucking Missy Elliott or a, a Nicki Minaj or, you know, Redman animated everything. Like, he's got a catalog that'll break some niggas' necks, you know what I'm saying? Like, Malpractice is one of my favorite Mal Redman albums. Um, my favorite Redman joint. Probably time for some action. That shit still slaps today. Like, if you played that in the club, niggas will start fighting. <laughs> like, straight up. <laughs> like, hey, Bucky, wow. Niggas will start fighting, bro. Like, straight up. Like, Redman is one of my favorites, man. He's definitely, regardless, he's definitely a top 20 lyricist. He's definitely an underrated lyricist because people don't put him in list at all. Don't get the credit he's in, he deserves. No, I mean, Redman ran the 90s, you know, with Eric Sermon and them. Number 18, Twister. What can I say? Probably the best flow in the game. Best chopper rappers. The best innovator speed, of the chopper the, inno the innovator of the speed rap. Nobody came out and, you know, he started this shit in 91, so you know that he was the godfather of fast rapping, dude. Like, man. Twister, boy. Yeah. I can't even say. His albums Jordan. are good, too, by the way. Like, he, he has some good albums. Kamikaze was Kamikaze, good. Yes. Adrenaline Rush. And Adrenaline Rush 2007 had some vintage Twister joints on there, but it didn't. It wasn't it was that great. Right. No, it's mediocre. I wouldn't call it. It wasn't that bad, but it, it was in the middle. A mediocre and I. Yeah, man. Twister, dog. But Slow Jams, that, was, that joint with Con Kanye West, man. Mm -hmm. That and Overnight Celebrity was what made Twister's career shut up. Then, not to mention his verse on is that your chick. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Oh, mm -hmm. that, I think that was like maybe the the second time I heard Twister. The first time I heard Twister was "Get It Wet" because they used to play "Get It Wet" on the radio all the time. I know it sounds kind of gay, me liking a song <laughs> called "Get It Wet," but the girl, the way she was singing that shit on the song, I was like, "Ooh, okay." <laughs> this nigga rapping off fast shit, like. That nigga twisted. I can't even fucking repeat the Is That Your Chick verse. I'm not even gonna fucking try. Alright, let me try. Cause you can't rap fast, can you? I can't rap that fast. <laughs> I think he was like, yo, Chick and Twisted got a screen, got a peanut pity for the scene, Rob the theme. Go. I can't even fucking do that shit, bro. Like, I can't do it that fast. Yeah. Like, when he, even when he slowed it down, like at the Jay Z mm -hmm. concert and Fade to Black, I was just blown away. 17. Probably the first lyricist ever in rap. Cool Mo D, 17. Mm -hmm. 
Dude can rap though. Like he had classic records. Like I go to work. The Wild Wild West. The Wild Wild West. I'm about it up there. <laughs> Not that bullshit that Will Smith put out. No way. But um, low key that Will Smith joint kind of slapped though during his time frame mm-hmm. when Will was in his prime. But I'm we'll not going to go there. Yeah. But, um, nigga. Cool Mo D can rap. And he was, again, he was one of the best battle rappers also because he was so smart. And then he was, he he adopted flow into the game also. You know, making sure your flow was right and your flow was stable on every record because everybody else was No. Kumo D was like, I put you right there in the and the and the and the and the and the and You know what I'm saying? He he yeah. made sure to flow. He he was the first nigga that flowed on a track that made sure his flow was right. Yeah, one well, first consistent with lyrics. Like, t- look up Kumo D. I go to work on YouTube. That boy killed it. Him and Teddy Riley was a hell of a match too. Like he produced all the of, of of Cool Mo D's early work. Number sixteen, Big Daddy Kane. Before Twister, okay. Ka- I mean, he was before Twister, but Twister okay. elevated Big Daddy Kane's game. Big Daddy Kane rap fast as fuck, but he came along in the early late eighties. You know what I'm saying? Until the early 90s, you know what I'm saying? It was unfortunate that Big Daddy Kane couldn't stay relevant because Big Daddy Kane was one of the best lyricists in the game, man. He had, he had, uh, oh, what was that record called? Shit. Man, I can't name like a Big Daddy Kane track off the top of the head. Like, I know the beat. If you put it on, I know the song. Like, all of Big Daddy Kane's joints. Like if I hear a, a Big Daddy Kane song, I know it's I know it's Big Daddy Kane. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. When he ra- I, when he wrapped off that record, then the Teddy Riley joint, I think it's called Go to Work. I'm not sure. I forgot what the fuck that shit was called. I'm mad as hell. I got it on my iPod mm-hmm. too. I get the job done. That's what it was. I get the yeah, job done. done. Yes, there we go. Yeah. That shit slapped, nigga. Like, straight up. Like, Big Daddy Kane was killing that shit. Like, I really like the, you know, he had the high top fade and shit. He made that popular. And he put on the show. The nigga was dancing around and shit. And he fucked mad hoes. Like, he like Will Chamberlain status. Yeah. 15. She was one of the greatest lyricists of all time until she cut her own career short. Lauren Hill. What could have been? Could have been a top five all time. Like, right. she's 15. A lot of people say that's favoritism. No, it's not. Lauren Hill has skills. We talking about skills, not relevancy. Just based on pure lyricists. Lauren Hill is one of the greatest lyricists of all time. You buy the Miseducation of Lauren Hill, all the Fuji's records, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, and hits after hits. X Factor, Doo Up, Sweetest Thing I've Ever Known. I mean, we talking about records with her just straight up rapping. Lost Ones is one of the greatest rap songs of all time. Yeah. Like, when you start, you, when it, 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 she started it out hard. It's funny how money changes situation. Like, when she said that, I was like, whoa. Because at first, like, when I first heard the song back when it came out in, like, na- late 98, I didn't know who the fuck that was. Like, I had Fuji's albums and all that. I didn't know it was her. I thought it was maybe Queen Latifah or somebody. Like, I'm like, Queen Latifah trying to come back? <laughs> and I found out it was Lauren Hill. And I'm like, whoa, you my whiz. Uh, man, that record is significant. It's one of the greatest hip hop records ever. Fourteen, not the greatest lyricist in the world per se, like as far as illable, syllable, killable, but every bar had a message. Ice Cube, number fourteen, greatest yeah. lyricist, lyricist of all time. Ice Cube had some of the most disrespectful lyrics in hip hop. I that nigga said bitch like it was his middle name. You know what I'm saying? The whole catalog. I mean, America's Most Wanted, Kill at Will, The Predator, 
fucking um, dog. Death Certificate was one of the greatest Death albums in hip hop. Started from MB. Started from NWA. Now he did. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, now he's like Bill Cosby or something now. Walt Disney. Mm. Now a lot of people think Ice Cube is just an actor. No, that motherfucker was one of the scariest MCs ever. Like when we were growing up, every, all everybody used to be scared of Ice Cube. You know what I'm saying? Ice Cube was was not even to be near him. Yeah, I know because the nigga was so fucking unpredictable and awesome and, and fucking just. Gangster nigga. <laughs> Just gangster. Like, fuck you. You know, I don't know, man. I mean, today was a good day. It was, ew, you Check know. yourself before you wiggity wreck yourself. The, the, I like the original one better than the, yeah. uh, the message version. But, you know what I'm saying? Ice Cube. 13. Busta Rhymes. Yes, sir. It, Mr. F- that nigga's got an interchangeable flow. He's the he's one of the dons of the slow flow, and most recently, <laughs> man, Buster is so fucking animated, dude. Very animated, but nevertheless, he got the best. He got the most respected flows of the game, but. Most definitely be the most respected MCs of the game. Yeah, Busta Rhymes had the Big Bang. That was a classic album right there. Man. Of course. Like, he kills it no matter what. Like, Bus is one of the most respectable. You don't want to fuck with him either. Like, he may no be way. one of the nicest dudes in the game, but he will still knock you the fuck out, too. You know what I'm saying? No, don't take Busta's kindness for weakness. Bus is a fucking problem. Like Buster Rhymes, the Salva Cheese. The nigga was doing it in the late eighties, nineties, two thousands, and now. Like he's still, you know, the new generation. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with him. Obviously, if Birdman signed a nigga like Buster Rhymes, you know what I'm saying? And obviously, he's he's got skill and talent. Number twelve, man. This dude, we're in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, to death. This is one of the greatest rappers, greatest battle rappers of all time. LL Cool J. J. Number 12. Please Bro. love Cool James. Man, he got the bitches too, but even with the wife, like, the chick's still all over him. Mm-hmm. LL Cool J is hard as hell. Yep. I excel. They are bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mama said, knock you out. Mama I'm said, gonna... knock you out. You're jiggling, baby. Go ahead, baby. Mm-hmm. You're jiggling, baby. Oh, nigga, I could go down the line. Down the line's hits after hits. Something it's like a banana. Oh, that record was cold. Like A roundaway girl, hey, lover. And then, like, GOAT, that, if you get GOAT, that was one of the most underrated albums in hip-hop history right there, because LL brought it. Like, if you type up Back Where I Belong, poor cannabis. Mm. And then it got shitted on, like, twice by, three times by LL, dog, for no reason. Like, cannabis couldn't come back from that, man. Number 11, one of the kindred spirits of hip-hop, one of the godfathers of, of, um, Substance, most death, like most death. most death. A lot of niggas would say most death's catalog ain't long enough, but his lyrics are consistent, and he's one of the dopest figureheads of hip hop. Yeah, like most death had some hits too. Like that Umi says is something, man. And then the New World Water joint, the Sex, Love, and Money joint. I mean, the list goes yeah. on. Like most is the almighty most. You feel me? But True. yeah, man, most deaths had a hell of a run in hip hop. He still could probably rap right now and do an album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people His gonna, last album he still had to flow. I mean he it was all right. I'm not gonna say it was weak either, you know what I'm saying? I I I, I wouldn't dare. <laughs> but yeah, I mean now we're going to go to the top 10, part 5, dog. Let's get it. Yeah.